All right, hello ladies and gentlemen. Today, our video, uh, we are gonna cover what is a function. We're gonna, this is gonna be an intro to functions because functions are gonna be used in math all of the time. And I'm gonna show you guys what a function really is. If you see this box, think of it as some sort of soda machine. You know, you, you put a dollar in and you get a soda out. You always put something in, you get something out. That's kind of the basis of how a function really works. So your X is always gonna be what you're putting in and the Y is gonna be what you're getting out. That's why the X is uh, inside and then the Y is over here on the outside. Um, that's basically how it works. And usually, most of the time, you're gonna always be using X and Y. Um, people use different um, letters, but usually X and Y is what you're going to see. Um, so here on the other side, we have a table or a lot of other people call it a T-chart. Uh, you have the x's on one side and then the y's which you're going to try to solve on the other side right here we have uh, a set of some pretty simple numbers five four three two one and then some negative numbers as well and i'm going to show you guys how um, to um, solve this uh, t-chart and fill it in uh, so we have this equation y equals 2x minus 3. i wrote it over here uh, y equals 2 and then this empty space minus 3. so this t-chart we're basically going to be using these x values and basically putting them in in this empty spot and then just solving the problem. So let's do the first one. Uh, we have a 5 right here. We have y equals 2. You put the 5 in the empty spot. You have 2 times 5 minus 3. And if you guys want to go back in the previous videos, if you guys don't know your uh, multiplications, divisions, uh, addition or subtraction, you know that is going to be uh, very useful in this in this video knowing how a function works. So if not, you guys can go back and then come back to this video to see how to do these problems. Okay, y equals 2 times 5, because you always do multiplication first. y equals 2 times 5, that is 10. When you have 10 minus 3, you're going to get 7. And that's basically how you do it. All right, we'll do the next one. We have a 4 right here. We put the 4 in the empty space. We have y equals 2 times 4 minus 3. 2 times 4, that is 8. 8 minus 3, you get 5. All right. Now the next one. The next one is 3 right here. You have y equals 2 times 3 minus 3. You get 2 times 3 is going to be 6. 6 minus 3, you're going to have 3. Now if you see a pattern here, because it is a linear equation, there's multiple types of equations, but you know, that's just focus of this one. If you see a pattern uh, going down, then the pattern is going to continue. If all the numbers are in order, you have seven to five. Oh, you see that's uh, minus two. Five to three, you have minus two. So what are you gonna get for the next one? If you subtract three minus two, you're gonna have to get one. I'll prove it to you right now. You have y equals two times two minus three. Two times two is four. Four minus three equals one. As you see, the pattern works. One minus two, you get negative one. Uh, negative one minus two, you get negative three. Then you get negative five, negative seven. Simple as that. You see the pattern, you follow the pattern if the numbers are in order. That is basically how you do a function. Hopefully you guys learn how to do a function and uh, later, we're going to do put some practice problems up so you guys can uh, try to figure them out, uh, solve them, and hopefully you guys learn. Now you know what a function is. All right, thank you for watching.